So welcome to another episode of my skincare talks and today I'm going to be talking about skin types. Now sometime last week or thereabouts my friend approached me he wanted to change his skincare routine you know wanted something that would give him some glow up without you know bleaching him and in order for me to recommend a product for him I had to ask him what skin type he had and he was like and I'm like you don't know your skin type and he's like no it doesn't pay attention to things like that and i'm like you need to know your skin type so in this video i'm going to be telling you the basics about the different types of skin so when you are asked by anybody what your skin type is at least you have an idea and you know what to respond as your skin type okay 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 so on to the skin types normal skin so normal skin, when, when someone has a normal skin, that person just has a skin that is very unproblematic. Like you have a skin that doesn't give you issues, no acne problems, no excessive oils, no excessive dryness, no this, no that, and your skin practically uses any product and you don't react to that product that is a normal skin okay so when you have a face that does not give you issues or a skin type that does not start you know itching you here and there or you start reacting to different things or even a new product then your skin is normal if you switch from one product to another and your skin does not react or does not disturb you that is a normal skin okay sensitive skin hmm hmm a sensitive skin just it just naturally gets irritated okay so it ex it responds to external stimuli you know or maybe it just anything new even if it's not new sometimes one day you can just wake up and you start seeing rashes on your skin or you start seeing inflammations on your skin or a red spot here and there always chronic red spots chronic itching chronic reaction to you know some ingredients in a cosmetic product like when you go to a cosmetic store and you have to check the ingredients one by one to know which one you react to you have a sensitive skin so your skin has products or rather has uh, elements it reacts to so you're not even meant to use a skin product that has that element in it if you're always having to look out for an ingredient in a product or maybe you use something and all of a sudden you start itching or you start growing boils here and there you know so for some people it's not just even cosmetics if they use a new perfume or they use a roll-on or a deodorant anything but on, on practically anything their skin reacts so those people have sensitive skin so People with sensitive skin are extra careful about the things that they get for their skin. So when they meet uh, maybe a cosmetic consultant, they have to let these consultants know that, okay, look, look, I react to this ingredient or that ingredient. Or they likely have to do a patch test, okay, before using any products if it's something they can actually do a patch test on. And by patch test, I mean you, they take this product that they're about to use and use it on a small area of their skin to see if there's a, if there's going to be any reaction maybe after 48 to 72 hours of using that product okay so now that is it for sensitive skin and we have the dry skin for someone with a dry skin mostly always um, you know has to contend with uh, you know dry skin itchy skin scaly rashes you know all of those stuff so someone with a dry skin just has to take extra care to moisturize not just their face but also their bodies because they are susceptible or they are prone to having their skin dry out on time or easily almost like you know the hamatan period now imagine being in the hamatan period okay and your skin is constantly dry that is a dry skin on a normal day that is not even hamatan so people with dry skin always have to have an intensive skin care um, routine that moisturizes Intens intensive moisturization that is dry skin for you so if you're always having to battle with you know your skin being dry all the time or most of the time 
unless you moisturize or your face is always itchy you then i think you should watch out for just how your skin is and you might notice that your skin always dries out on time and you need to always moisturize or add yes. an uh, extra moisturization routine to keep your face moisturized and hydrated oily skin <laughs> I don't sorry I'm just laughing because I remember um, um, a point in my life when I had oily face you see I've I've gone through stages of having different types of skin and that is actually possible when you know your hormones change every now and then you know so a phase in your life you realize you have an oily skin a phase in your life you realize you have a dry skin and then a phase in your life you realize you have a combination skin so I've actually been on two sides of this coin, the dry and the oily. Now, um, when you have an oily skin, you know, you just know that your skin pores, they are porous. And by porous, I mean they are open and they always, you know, emit uh, substances from your skin, your face included. They always, you know, the, the skin barrier basically is not close enough. The skin barrier is not tight enough okay so and as such it keeps emitting you know oily substance from your face and then the sebum production from your sebaceous gland is excess that is why your face is oily and as a result for some people okay i say for some people because i know some people who have oily faces but don't have acne or pimple problems for some people they have that oily face comes with acne it comes with acne so if you're always having to every time wipe off excessive oil from your face or you know after washing your face maybe within 5 10 or 20 minutes you're already seeing oil all over your face your face is oily and it is excessively oily so you know that is it about the oily face so if your face is like that then your face is oily the last of all the last main types of skin is the combination skin now your skin is the combination skin when you have some characteristics of the dry skin and the oily skin and this is where the t-zone comes in for some of you who are already familiar with skincare talks you t-zones would be familiar with you or you would have heard t-zones from someone before who has talked about skincare now the t-zone just means the area where you notice the oiliness on your face okay so for some people who have combination skin the oil stays on their forehead their nose and their chin for some people it's just the nose and the forehead and then the rest of the face is dry especially the cheeks they are dry but you see this area you know it's called the t-zones and they're the parts that have the oil on them okay so now I have come to the end of basically explaining the skin types here and in I mentioned five main types of skin, the normal skin, the uh, sensitive skin, combination skin, dry and oily skin types, okay? So when next you have to answer what your skin type is, I hope that this video will help you to know what your skin type is or at least have a basic idea of what your skin type is. Please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up, like, subscribe and share this video. I would also love to know your thoughts. You can leave your comments in the comment section and um, as always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.